you're creating a presentation. Whether you're an educator or a student, you want your audience to remember the content and not the bells and whistles of the presentation tool. Hey, there are a bunch of great presentation tools out there, from good old PowerPoint and Keynote to Prezi, web pages, videos, even pod and vodcasts. Here's the deal. A good presentation is not about the tool. It's about the presenter and the content being presented. But effective use of a good presentation tool can make your content come alive. Atomic Learning can help. You can get started with the material we have listed under Build Your Understanding. Effective presentation design is an especially good place to start. It focuses on the important key concepts about delivering a message. These concepts aren't any good, though, if they're not put into practice, so feel free to bring them into your classroom. We've listed some projects under the Put This Concept Into Practice section, which helps give you a good framework to practice the ideas. What will really help you make sense of these ideas, especially if you're new to them, is to reflect on how you're going to use them in your classroom. We've got some really great tools for this in the Reflect and Apply section, including the Professional Development Workbook. Finally, don't forget that Atomic Learning can answer those how do I do that questions about a variety of presentation tools. So be sure to check out the reference tools section as needed. Keep in mind, given all of the people who will be your audience, chances are good that some of them will have special needs. Included in the reference section are tips to ensure your presentation is accessible to everyone and gives you some ideas for alternative ways to present your content. Communication is only as good as the sender and receiver. Be sure your presentation enhances your message and doesn't distract from it.